How do? It's a little touch here, and today I'm playing Chain Reaction from Jarrell, made by Maz Spork, 1987, and Paul Walker. Maz Spork, as we know, made the famous canteen item, uh, the serviette holder, and Paul Walker, I don't think it was the guy from Fast and Furious, the poor soul that passed away. Hope it's not. Uh, now this, as I said, came out in 1987, and I have never played it. Uh, so this is going to be an interesting thing. I have read the destructions though, so I do know, which is odd, that I play a man and I have the thankless task. Look at those little cameras watching me up there. I have the thankless task of uh, collecting spent nuclear rods which are carelessly littered amongst my workplace. However, the security of this place has gone arse over tip. Let me. Uh, the showers give you energy. Uh, oh, there's something in the shower of me, you pervert. Uh, the security has gone completely arse over tit. And so it's gone against you. So not only do I have to find the spent nuclear rods and dispose of them in the pit, because <laughs> that's how you get rid of uh, nuclear waste in this place, you find it. You chuck it in the pit and never think about it again. Uh, so get the spent nuclear rods, which progressively kill you as you carry it. Chuck them in the pit. Uh, you've got to defend yourself against the enemies of this place and uh, not die from doing your job. Uh, the showers, as you've witnessed, give you your energy back by washing away the radiation. Radiation. And that's it. Well, you can see it's like a 3D isometric sort of game. You have a jetpack and you have armor piercing bullets to shoot bastards, as I'm trying to do there. Uh, oh, tit. So push me out the door then with bullets. I do like that effect. As it shoots you, you get like pushed back slightly. That's good. Just have a shower. La, 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 la. Two soap method. One for the top, one for the bottom. Uh, just shoot him. If I can. Oh, there's a, rock. there's a nuclear rod down there. See it? Just near the door. So I've got to get that nuclear rod over there and take it all the way to the pit. However, if you, I believe if you pick it up and then drop it and not near the pit, you can't pick up again. You have to push it, which uh, kills you faster. Oh, there's something else in the shower with me. This building is full of perverts. Right, I'm going to get that nuclear rod. You get it by walking into it, if I remember rightly. Yes. So now take this back all the way to the pit, drop it in, uh, and I get uh, the chance of being the hero of the town. That might not be true, but it'd be great knowing that I took that to my grave. Right, drop this in here. Oh, push it a bit forward. There we go. So also, as I said before, that takes off your health as well. So doing your job kills you slowly as well. And now, it'd be great if I could find a shower so I can get some of my health back. I haven't noticed that there's some lag in this game, depending on what room you go to. There might not be any enemies in the room, but you get lag on it as well. And it's pissing awkward to control. You'd expect. Oh, yeah, I've got a jetpack. Though, what purpose that serves at this point, I have no idea. Uh, the rooms are, are difficult to. Oh, there's another rod. The rooms are difficult to control. Whereas most 3D isometric games put your room on like a slant. Because this room is set up. Like looking at there. Right, just take this rod back. Oh, radiation. <laughs> Fell straight down the pissing hole. <laughs> just tit. <laughs> what an arsehole. I regret nothing. I've got my name on. Right, I'll go back in. That was pathetic. Well, let's see. There should be a there should be a rail around that. I'm contacting the HSE because there should be a rail around that. Right, let's go back in. Uh, <laughs> right, as I was saying, there's some rooms that look very pretty and suit the 3D asymmetric game, like that one there, and perhaps this one. But there's some rooms that, like this flat one here, that's a pain in the ass. That didn't look pretty. Uh, and there was other rooms that your character bombs it through. As we've seen, and there's other rooms that your character, for some reason, looks like he's walking through like horse glue or something like that. 
What the hell is available? Are those sacks of poison? Oh, there's a nuclear rod. And there's a shower at the same time, so I'm going to kill him off. Get a shower. Two soap method. Hopefully there's no pervert in the shower. There we go, get some energy back. Right. Right, so get a nuclear rod, and I'll take... Oh, look, there's a pervert. Get out of the way. Try not to jump in the pit this time. <laughs> oh, careful, Bill. Ooh! I pressed my jetpack instead. <laughs> what a stupid asshole I was. I do like the fact that the... Oh, spawned in the wall. I do like the fact that CCTV cameras follow you. Look, are you following me or are they just moving? Oh, they might be just moving. Anyway, they still look good. But yeah, the... The, I don't know. I don't know if this is just because of the start, but there are, are objects in the room, but I don't think they're actually serving a purpose. Again, like games like Head Over Heels and uh, is it Night no, Night Law and Alienate. The, the objects in the room serve the purpose, and these just to be sparse rooms. Right, I've got another. Now this is my second nuclear rod here, so don't jump in the pit, Phil. Uh, objects in the room seem to serve a purpose in other games and oh, wait softly softly no, I thought it fell in there other, objects in the room in other games serve the purpose oh look, I'm lagging like a sod here there's only two real enemies ah another one excellent right drop this in oh Jesus my house drops off something right there done oh I've done it again right <laughs> Stupid asshole. Right, now I'm going to go. TGFN, everybody. Ta ta for now. Cheerio and bye bye. That was Chain Reaction 1987 from Mad Spork. Jerry Hill. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs> Stupid asshole.